Hello, this is Christina coming to you from sunny California and my kitchen corner. And today I would like to share with you that I am participating in a collaboration with, with Shirley from Saver Mom 502. And in this collaboration, she's asking that we do um, Pinterest inspired projects. And mine's was a push pin thumbtack inspired project. These are some of the items that I used. These are my diamond inspired gems that have us um, adhesive in the back and um, just find, find items that you like. I have buttons here, I have wooden beads and nail polish, uh, metallic paints, you can use yarn or you can use twine and um, pom-poms. I didn't do any of the pom-poms because I have them either too small or too big, but um, if you have the medium size one or one size bigger than the small one, then you can use those. And then I used flowers that I already had. So, okay, so I'm just going to show you some samples of what I did. I am going to take this clear push pin and these little gems already have adhesive on there so I'm not going to glue it but if it didn't I would glue it with the E6000 or the super glue from the dollar store and then you just start pinning them and for the googly eyes they are also um, they also have a adhesive on the back so all I do is push it there and then for the no polish ones I just I just run it through And I did the same thing with the metallic copper paint. I just had a little brush and I had a little brush somewhere here. I, I, it's not there anymore, but I just brushed it on. And then these are my favorite, the washi ones. So what I did is I just cut a little square or a little circle and then I turned it upside down. And then with my scissors, I just trimmed around it. And for the thumbtack with the little heart, um, adhesive on the back. So all I do is just tack it on there. And again, the ideas are endless. So it's these are just items I had around my house. And I kind of like it. What do you think? Okay, and then these are just the uh, the flowers I made with the um, twine. And for the crocheted flowers, um, all I did was I pushed it through, and that was it. Okay, so there you go. And um, I just tied a um, on this one that I made with the cording, and I put a wooden push pin in it and I just I tied a little bow on the end and I think it looks sweet so okay so these are my ideas and um, start working with what you have and the ideas will just keep coming to you if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I would appreciate it. And thank you again, Sher, for inviting us off to do this Pinterest-inspired collaboration.